so many awesome facilitators today they, that want to play professional love. And yes. Want to play as well. Yay. <laughs> Maybe we should rerun the session around Valentine, but I think just before Christmas in this kind of festive season, it fits awesome. as well. <laughs> yes. All right. So then let me kick us off while uh, I'm sure that we all still have uh, people joining. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, those of you ha I haven't met before, my name is Ana Maria, and I am leading the community project here at Butter. Uh, give me maybe a, a find the reaction on your left side screen and give me a thumbs up if you're hosted or attended a butter workshop before or a thumbs down if this is the very first time you're landing in this tool. Okay, there's a there's a mix. I see some thumbs up. I see some thumbs down. All right. Now, if you are finding yourselves in Butter for the very, very first time, welcome to the all-in-one tool to deliver collaborative virtual workshops. And today, uh, thanks to Susanna and uh, what she has in store for us, we are going to experience a couple of our uh, features. So uh, I am hoping that you will have a good time. I do have to mention that this session is being recorded, as you can type by the button on your left. So uh, it's going to be shared on LinkedIn and also with the Butter community. If you're feeling more comfortable with your camera off, that's absolutely no problem. I am also going to pop in the chat a message for you. You can contact with Suzanne. I I really do believe that everyone knows her, or probably <laughs> almost everyone knows her. Uh, how you can try Butter out and book a Butter demo if you'd like to learn more and also join our awesome community. Now, I am super stoked every time I find myself uh, in a workshop with Susanna. I am uh, absolutely ecstatic because I always get to learn so many tips and tricks. And she's an awesome facilitator. So if you don't know Susanna, yeah, she's a facilitator for change and culture, and she's also the founder of the Texturialist. And now through her work, Susanna enables teams and organizations to create their own textures related to the way they want to collaborate, engage, and innovate. The cool part is that Susanna cares not only about what the teams and organizations are working on and their processes, but also how do they feel while they share, grow, and explore together. Now, Susanna, it's an absolute pleasure to have uh, to share the virtual room with you okay, once again. Yeah. Uh, over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, mm. Anna Maria. I don't really have much more to besides kind of welcome to everyone. Um, it's so good to to have you here in the room with me to play some professional love. Now, I've had in a comment on LinkedIn kind of this sounds a bit dodgy. So I'm happy that you're here to kind of face all the dodginess we might experience um, in the professional love. But of course, um, it's not going to be dodgy at all. Um, I hope it will be, yeah, lots of fun, but of course, lots of insights as well as we kind of um, go through that. But just as a quick check in, um, maybe you would just like to add an emoji of how you feel today or something that you maybe have celebrated over the past few days, a bit of Christmassy feeling or festive holiday season, maybe some snow. So just share a bit in the in the check uh, in the chat. How are you feeling today? Is it all smiles? Is it Santa Claus coming? I had a call with a Dutch group earlier. They're all excited about uh, Santa Claus coming on the fifth preparing poems and surprises. I'm, I'm all in awe with the various cultures. So I'm really excited. First time on the platform, she can't hear a thing. Emer, um, Anna Maria, that's probably a question for you. Thank you, Sunny. Oh, yeah, Emer got it. Perfect. Sunny, a bit of snow, Anushka. Yeah, a bit of snow. If I look outside the room and if I really look far here from Heidelberg, we have a bit of snow, but it's really um, more on the on the hills. All smiles, a business quiet period. Oh, that's lo that's lovely. Wonderful. Yeah, and of course, if you want to have lunch as we proceed, no problem. That's all fine for me. It will maybe have uh, be more of an issue when you're in your breakouts and you kind of keep munching on your breakfast or your lunch. Um, so all good. I'm feeling magic. Oh, wonderful. Brussels first snow day. Yeah, beautiful. 
Yeah, just getting the say, they started, Manal. Thanks for coming in so so early at the early hours. Wonderful. So um, let let us kick this off. Um, professional love. I've got to um, I've got to know the the game um, during an online agile agile game night actually. Um, and to be honest, I've never facilitated it. So bear with me. This is my first time facilitating it. I've just played it so far. So I have to admit this um, upfront. Um, it's not me, the expert facilitator in this, because it's my first time. But I loved playing it. So I'm, I hope that you will just have some fun playing it as well and learning to um, learn to to get the others a bit better. So I'm Suzanne, as Anna Maria pointed out. Thanks for the warm welcome. Um, I live in Heidelberg, Germany. I am German, as you may hear from from my accent. Uh, oh wow! And I'm spotlighted. Excellent. Thank you. That's always uh, the surprise thing, uh, the surprise element. So professional love. Um, it actually goes um, back to a essay, to an essay about, um, and I think I put it in the description, to fall in love with anyone, do this. And it's actually based on a study that 36 questions um, should feel you more comfortable with a complete stranger and may eventually help you fall in love with that stranger. Now, we're not going that far today. Um, it's all around professional love, of course. But the question really was, how can you take those 36 questions that go deep, set by set? There are three sets of 12. And with every set, it goes, it goes deeper. Um, so how can you really use those 36 questions, those three sets to help you familiarize with your colleagues, with your team members? And that's what we're going to try and test today as well. Um, so with everything around that is going to happen today, we're going to use Miro and we're going to be in breakouts a lot. Um, I would just like to remind you of the Las Vegas rule. So what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas, meaning what happens in the session, please keep it confidential. It only happens and stays in the session. So please don't spread any details, what you hear from the others on LinkedIn or anywhere else. Um, I hope that is fine for you. Um, yes, please keep it a secret what you hear. You may share, of course, within the plenary as we kind of do a debrief, but please do not um, provide any details outside this virtual space. Any questions on that Las Vegas rule before I proceed? And then please just unmute yourself. Anna Maria, you have a comment. Yes, please. Just a, sh a small comment, the rules are not recorded. Mm. So all the good sharing that happens in the breakout room stays in the breakout rooms and only the plenum room will be recorded. So just keep that in mind. Perfect, yeah. So butter breakouts keep the Las Vegas rules as well, which is a great, um, a great confidence to have. Excellent. Now let me share um, the Miro before we share it um, widely and let me share screen so that I can tell you how we're actually going to play it um, and let me take you to the mirror there we are i hope you can see my <laughs> my screen now and i can't move anything right now so um it's frozen for me which is of course always a good thing if something is frozen so let me stop sharing and try this again with you so that it's not frozen when I share it the next time. All right, can I move things? Yes, I can move things. Excellent. So um, we'll be sharing the mirror link um, soon enough, um, and you'll be working with Miro on Butter, which is the nice thing about Butter. So that's excellent that the integration works. Um, you'll be able to read a little bit about me. I'm not going into details there because Anna Maria basically told everything there is to know about me. Otherwise, please happy for you to connect with me via LinkedIn and you will see the, um, the LinkedIn link in the Miro as well. So how we are going to play um, Professional Love. 
as I said, we will have um, sets, uh, three sets of 12 questions each, making up the total of the 36 questions to go deep with each other. Um, when you are in your breakout groups, and we will have breakout groups of four or a maximum of five people, um, you will be able um, to pick a question from the sets. And I'm soon going to show you the, the three sets. We've copy pasted them to every group. Um, so you will have no problem at all finding the sets within your specific group. So when you're in the group, we'll start with the first round uh, with the set one. So for the first round, only pick a question from our set. Um, and you can either pick the question um, kind of in alignment with the group, just agree as a group which of the 12 questions you would like to choose, or you nominate someone from the group to choose a question, or you can also throw a virtual dice. I'm going to copy paste a link in with the dice um, soon enough so that you can have that as well if you wish. But just briefly pick a question from the 12. And I know it's, it's, um, it's a lot to read through the first time, but just take a minute to read through the 12 questions and then pick one question that you would like. And then it's really the turn for every player in your group to um, recreate that question to a professional love question. So for example, a question could be, what does friendship mean to you? Now in a professional context or in a business context, it may not be maybe suitable for a team to ask about friendship or to go as deep as the, prof as the regular love questions go. So that's why we recreate it to a professional love and everyone should kind of recreate it to their version of the question. So for example, what does being a great teammate mean to you? Or what does um, comradery mean maybe? So transfer the question, the love question into a professional love question. That's the task for each player. And then when you have done that as the, the four or fives that you are in the breakout, um, you can vote on your most preferred professional love question that you have created. So you will have voting um, dots to put a vote next to the, to the question that you most likely would love to answer. Um, and the one that gets the most votes, uh, votes um, wins. You can highlight that, you can either mark it or put the, the voting dots bigger. Um, and then it's really for everyone to answer that specific question that was voted. So um, you can first, and I would advise you to first um, take a minute of silence to really reflect and think about that question. And then you can go around um, and share the question as a group. Um, and it's important, even if you may think alike another person on the question, not to say, oh yeah, I think well, but explain your answer really um, honestly and openly share, of course, as always, as much as you would like to share within that group, of course. Now, let me move over to one of the sets so that you can see how it's laid out and then we can go into questions before we put you into the breakouts. So with each um, of these um, players, of these groups, you have a kind of a similar setup or the same setup actually. Um, and we have a few um, created. So you will have, um, group one, for example, and you can put your name on the player one, two, three, four, and five, if you happen to be five, um, otherwise we'll use four players. And then you can see already here that we have the blue, the yellow, and the green. So these are the three sets that we have. And if we whoops, go in the set one, for example, you will already see that, um, that there are really kind of entry level questions to get familiar, right? Um, they're of course not kind of just banal, they're really um, already going into, um, into a certain depth, but of course uh, they need to be amended to be a professional love question. And that's what you can do with the big st sticky notes. So the ones that you have chosen, you just um, type in here. So for example, would you like to be famous in what way? Maybe it's, not the professional love question that we would like to ask as a team, but um, it's definitely the one question that you would then type in here. Um, would you like to be famous, etc., etc.? And then um, you will, and I'm going to move over. 
Um, and then for each player, you can enter your professional love question here. So would you be, would you like to be famous? Maybe would you like to become a leader? Maybe, um, a professional love question. Um, so that's where you actually have your, um, your professional love question. And then you have the voting dots and that's then all I'm going to show you. So you have the voting dots here and you can toggle them, um, pull and drop them over the preferred question of your player. And then on the right hand side, if you wish to prefer um, silently to answer the question in a sticky note first, you can do that and add the answer on a sticky note, or you can just silently reflect and then verbally share within the group. The sharing is important. I don't think I need to, to tell you that. Um, and then let me stop screen share to ask whether you have any other questions before we start putting you into the breakouts? So per set, we will need to uh, recreate the one question or how many? Questions? Yeah, you will have um, in the first round, you will have um, 20 minutes for the first round, uh, meaning if you go into your breakout group, um, maybe say hello um, to each other first and, and briefly introduce yourself. You may not know each other. So take those um, those um, five minutes to, um, to do that. Um, and then um, you have 20 minutes for that first round. So just take questions from really from set one and not from the other sets, because it's really going to be a bit more um, on the kind of an introductory level with the questions. And if you've done, if you finished the question from set one and you still have time, just do it again and pick another one for uh, from the set one and also turn that into a professional love question. Any other questions? Seems to be okay. After the first round, we'll come back for a quick debrief. And then of course you will have time um, to tackle questions from set two and three. Now, Anna Maria, I think that would be the time to share, I guess, the Miro. And I'm also going to share if you want to throw the dice um, also into the chat the link to throw the dice if you wish to do that and that's an option if awesome. you wish thank you Suzanne I see the link is in the chat for the dice now we're going to open the breakout rooms for the first 20 minutes you are going to work through the first set of questions in your breakout rooms, as you will join them, the mirror will wait for you magically uh, open. So you could go to your group number in the board and start working on the task. And you will see that if at any given moment throughout this time in the breakout rooms, you need help, or support, or you have a question, please just find a hand button and we will be notified and be able to join you and answer any type of doubts that you might have. How and will how will they know, Anna Maria, which in which group they are in and which uh, Miro part they should yeah. fill in? You will see that in your joining the breakout rooms, you will have a message telling you you're in group two and you will see it at the top as well. So group one, two, three, four, and the Miro boards uh, areas are numbered uh, the same, group one, two, three, four. So um, very easy, easy peasy. Perfect. All right. So I'm starting the breakout rooms now and I will beam you there. Have fun making connections and I will see you back here in 20 minutes. You can just immediately say, hey, you know, try to do it a little bit different than you're used to doing this. So if you're always very open, then maybe tone down a little bit or the other way around. I thought that was really, I hadn't expected that from this exercise. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. So are you ready for the next round? Yes, excellent. <laughs> so we'll put you back into your breakouts. Um, you have everything you need. So please finish um, answering the question that you were about to answer or in the midst of answering. And then of course you may move on to section two and then if you wish to section three, which gets a bit juicier. So um, be prepared for some more insights. Um, 
you'll have 30 minutes for the next um, round. So you'll have plenty of time to finish off um, the first round if you haven't done so, and then to continue on. And again, if you have any questions, just shout and let us know and we'll be there with you. All right, just a quick mention as we had a couple of people jumping out. Maybe you will see some new people in the breakout rooms. So welcome them and uh, get to know them as well as uh, as we try to keep the groups in four and fives. All right. Off you go. Have fun. See you in 30 minutes. We'll have soon everyone back. Yes, there we go. There we go. Welcome back. <laughs> well, I see some smiling faces, so uh, that's a good thing. You haven't killed yourself at each other in the in the breakouts. That's a good thing. Sorry for the hiccup. Um, yeah, you're still alive. <laughs> uh, sorry for the hiccup uh, with uh, the breakouts, um, but I've heard from one breakout. Oh, it's just another opportunity to get to know more people. So there you go. Um, we all take it from the positive side. And also, if someone wasn't able to be heard, then there's always the chat. Uh, you're so awesome in managing this. Um, thank you so much for all your patience and um, your buy-in to this game. So how did it go? Let us hear some voices in the room. Who would like to unmute? Thomas, please. Can we hear you? You need to unmute yourself, though, first. On the top left. Yeah, you did. That was the problem with you before in the breakout. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Maybe type it into the um, into the chat, Thomas, please. Thomas, we have learned that in our group that sometimes chat is quite helpful, not as personal, but yeah, not as personal, but at least at least a form of communication, right? Uh, thank Lip you. reading is a, a skill most of us haven't learned, and I can't do it either, but. <laughs> Anyone else who would like to share a little bit while Thomas is typing in his uh, his comment? I I would like to make a comment. Yes, please. I I I I find everyone in this group fascinating and so open. And what I learned in the second sec set of questions, what I noticed was each of us had a different answer according to what part stage of our life or. Our, businesses we're in right now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thanks for sharing, Tanya. I think what I find also interesting, um, one concern I have also as a, a coach for teams is how do you balance psychological safety when you have people living and coming? So we had this experience now that at the mm -hmm. beginning you were with one group and you're setting the base and so on. And then all of a sudden you are in a very different group. Mm -hmm. um, but I think if the rest of the group, when you have one new joiner, let's say, acts as if nothing changed. And yeah, we have a new person, but we can still share um, and open up first. Then the, the person that comes in will feel also invited to open up and share. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I'm not really sure in real life how it would work uh, because indeed this group is very open <laughs> uh, and easy to share. Um, but uh, it's interesting to see also how the change didn't impact so much the depth of sharing. Yeah, it's actually, thanks for sharing that, Natalia. It's actually um, a great exercise to do that on purpose, which probably it was by Anna Maria anyway, we don't know. <laughs> but to put you into different groups on purpose after the first round to actually test that experience um, of how is it when you've established already a certain kind of psychological safety or of adding one new team member, as you said, Natalia, or kind of change a, a large part of the team to see is that is that comfortable? Is that kind of weird? Where is my lovely group that I wanted to continue chatting about? Um, but that's also real life, right? So it could actually be done on purpose um, and we'll never know. We don't ask Anna Maria whether it was done on purpose or not. So <laughs> Any other shares before we kind of go briefly to the next exercise? I'll share. Um, yes, please. So so my groups were both amazing, but I think there's a certain level of comfortability here. Like even if you don't know the folks in your 
room and you're like, okay, they're part of the butter community. So they're automatically like pretty cool and chill. And so you just like start sharing. Right. And so that's like one of like, um, I guess the the things because I'm I'm thinking of certain clients who are like super serious and I'm like we would never like talk about these questions right <laughs> like it, it would it would definitely need to be like more of the set one type questions as opposed mm-hmm. to us we were like let's let's go to set three like we're ready for that right so it's like kind of easing into it so mm-hmm. just something to take into consideration but really enjoyed it. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, Manal. And that will bring us directly to the mirror board to the last piece where I would just um, would like to give you one or two minutes to add um, where could you use the purpose, um, the um, the professional love? How could you uh, make use of the game um, or of the questions? Um, and um, Anna Maria is taking you to the board in this um, on the screen. So maybe just take a sticky note and add um, your comments. So how could you use the tool? Uh, maybe it's really for um, jumbling people around and uh, showing them what is not a psychological safe team because we've mixed you up. Or um, how could you use the questions? Maybe it's just set one. Maybe it is set three if you know each other a bit longer and you would just go deeper. So just take a minute or two. and add, or if you have troubles adding it in the Miro, just add it in the chat, if that's easier. Yeah, and I can already see some first comments with my teams as an icebreaker or energizer for training participants. Speed dating and workshops, yes. Speaking about professional love. Reality check of assumptions. Yeah, beginning of a new group. Oh yeah, getting the leadership to share the, the answers first to, the, to set the tone within a group. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Or the facilitator, depending on who is going to be part of that. Check in, check out. Yeah, I think you need a bit of time to to dive into that. Yeah. Over the course of a longer engagement. Yeah, it's kind of a project team, maybe um, to really um, getting to know them better. Maybe in the beginning of the project team work on set one. And then as you proceed with the project, you start working on the, um, on the other pieces. Spice up meetings, yes, beautiful. Cool, thank you so much. So the Miro board will of course be there for you to come back. Um, so I'm happy for you to always come back and to look at the questions. Um, um, I'll remember to put in um, a link to also um, to kind of just a Word file so that you can more easily kind of copy paste the questions if you wish. Um, so that's probably easy. Um, yeah. Which basically means we're almost up against the hour. So if you would like to leave the session with a bit what worked well in the chat or what would have been even better if that's absolutely possible. So what worked well if my mouse yes. And what would have been even better if I'm typing too fast here. Yeah, and Anushka is definitely looking for her first group to continue the dying question, answering the question about dying. Yeah, the link to the original article, um, I'm going to put that in as well. Um, and the questions, I make note of that. We will send a follow-up email to everyone yeah. who signed up with all the goodies. Yeah, and it will be on the Miro. I'll put everything on the Miro so that it's your one-stop shop for anything related to professional love. Yeah, a decent amount of time in the breakouts. 
Thank you. Work well. Flexibility, yes. A downloaded pic of the whole overview of the board beforehand, we can Angela, do that or, as well. or is that to go with afterwards? Before and after, <laughs> the difference. Oh, after, after, after with all the ideas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, with the we, ideas we will add that to use the that. email. Yes. Perfect, yeah. yes. Thank you. Very good mirror prep work, Annette. Thank you so much for saying that because that was Anna Maria because I usually work with mural. I'm sorry. So mural doesn't have the integration yet. So Anna Maria was so kind as to transfer everything on mural because I'm a mural disaster, I have to say. I'm getting better at it eventually, but um, so far I'm just a mural pro and not a mural pro. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you had a, a good time with your group, um, that you loved um, the professional love. Um, and it wasn't dodgy at all, was it? Did it at any point become dodgy? Nah. <laughs> you may have so wished good. it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Anna Maria and Jessica, for the support. Thanks for everyone, to every one of you for having been here. Have a wonderful rest of the day and connect and reach out and share the love in December and beyond. Thank you so much. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. 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 Ciao.